Okay, this is Brielle. Today I'm going to talk about my process, how I make aura and spirit paintings. I'm an artist by profession as well as an occultist, a witch, and a professional tarot reader. Now, an aura or spirit painting isn't like a regular painting that's commissioned by an artist. Using my spiritual and magical skills, there's a process where I try to read your aura and spirit and get a sense of it. And then, through my feelings and what I feel from it, I create a painting based on the experience to try to show you aspects of your own inner self and things you may not even be aware of. The first start of the process is if I meet you in person to get a closer reading, I look into a person's eyes and I get them to hold out their hands like this and then I put my hands over their own. And then what I do is I read their energy and in a way taste their energy to see how it feels. For example, one person may feel like electricity and another person's energy may feel warm like a fire and everybody's energy feels unique and different. Then I get my clients to send me two pictures. One of a close-up of their eyes because you could read a lot of a person's inner person from the eyes and one with a picture where they feel they are their true, genuine self. The next part of the process is after meditating upon the feelings from their energy, then I do a small tarot reading to guide me further inward to know their truest person. And then I will use the reading to help me further formulate the feelings needed to bring their painting into being. After I do a tower reading, I have a crystal ball and I gaze into my crystal ball and I meditate for a very, very long time and the image of what their spirit and aura painting will be comes to me through gazing into the crystal ball. In the next segment, I'll show you a finished painting and explain a little bit about it and how I came to create the process and also to show you the end result of my readings and my artistic abilities. Thank you, and I hope you have a very, very lovely day, and stay tuned for part two. Hi, this is Brielle. Now, in my previous video, well, the previous part of this video that I was doing, I was talking about how I created my aura and spirit paintings. And now I'm going to show you the end result of one of my aura and spirit paintings after I've done my process. Thank you. This is an example of one of my aura spirit paintings. Now, as you can see, there's a central figure over here, which is the subject's aura and spirit as I've painted, as shown to me in my readings and from my crystal ball and from feeling the person's energy. Now, there actually is like different colors and images will mean different things relating to a person's spirit. Now you noticed being an artist, there's also an elaborate background. A lot of times the background has to do with the person's past and as aspects of a person's life that surrounds them or is important to them. And all my spirit and aura readings are confidential. So 
I can't tell you what the meanings of this one is. However, I should tell you they all have extremely deep meanings that relate to the subject of my painting. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed my explanation of how my aura and spirit painting process works. Have a very good evening or morning or wherever you are.